Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on longitude and latitude. In this video, we'll be looking at some miscellaneous problems. This is part two of the miscellaneous problems video. So we we'll start with problem one. Problem one, a plane leaves an airport X 20.6 degrees east and 36.8 degrees north and flies due south along the longitude for 8 hours at the rate of 1000 km per hour to another airport Y, 20.6 degrees east and theta degrees south. The plane then flies west to another airport Z for 8 hours at the same speed. Calculate to the nearest degrees A, the value of theta, B, the longitude of Z. We take the radius of the Earth to be 6,400 kilometers. So in our solution, we represent the information in the diagram. Be informed that this is the longitude and latitude location of X, and this is longitude and latitude location of Y. They lie on the same longitude, 20.6 degrees east, but different latitude. This is in the Northern Hemisphere, while this is in the Southern Hemisphere. So we have uh, our equator, the North and the South Poles. And um, we need to locate the longitude, the common longitude, which is 20.6 degrees East. And uh, the point X now is in the North. Then we draw the latitude 36.8 degrees North where x lies so we have our 36.8 degrees north and this is point x and also since x and y both lie on the same meridian we are going to then find the latitude theta degrees south so we have the latitude theta degrees south here and this is point y the plane then flies west to another airport Z. It flies west. That is from Y. Because it flies like this from X to Y. Then from Y it flies west. So we have to locate the longitude of that, which is this. We don't know the longitude of Z, but this is the point Z here. So we now see this is a long grid circle. Here is a long small circle. So we start with a part of the problem. Um, to calculate the value of theta, first and foremost, we need to know the distance between x and y based on the information given to us. Since the plane flies for eight hours at a speed of 1000 kilometers per hour, and distance is time multiplied by speed, which will give us in kilometers. That's going to give us 8 times 1,000 kilometers, which gives 8,000 kilometers. And uh, the distance is along the great circle, that is longitude. And uh, we don't know the angular distance here between X and Y. We are going to get that, which we are going to be using to calculate the value of theta at the end of the day. So we see, remember the formula is theta over 362 pi big R. This theta at the end of the day, in order to avoid confusion with this theta, we're going to use alpha over 360, then multiply by 2, multiply by 22 over 7, then multiply by 6400. If we make alpha the subject of the relation, we have alpha to be 8,000 times 360 times 7, then divide by 2, divide by 22, divide by 6,400. If we input this in our calculator, we have 71.59 degrees. And um, since x is in the north and y is in the south it means this plus this will give us this so that the value of theta now will then be 
0.59 degrees minus 36.8 degrees and that gives 34.79 degrees which finally gives 35 degrees to the nearest degrees that is the end of solution to the first part remember we subtracted because they are in different regions and moreover the value of alpha we calculated is greater than the latitude of x so that's it for a we then go for b to calculate the longitude of z we also need to calculate the angular difference between y and z and before then the distance yz which is still going to be 8 times 1000 kilometers and that gives 8000 kilometers the distance between y and z is a long small circle so our formula still remain yz equal to theta over 360 2 pi r cos alpha and uh, our alpha is this theta we have here so we have 8000 is equal to theta in order to avoid the confusion with this theta we have it as beta over 360 times 2 times 22 over 7 times 6400 then cos 35 degrees because 35 we've calculated this to be 35 degrees from a so from here we then make beta the subject of the relation we have 8000 times 360 times 7 then divide by 2 divide by 22 divide by 6400 then cos 35 degrees is 0 0.8192 so in putting this in our calculator we have 87.39 degrees and uh, here this is 20.6 degrees less than this which means y and z are in different region so one is in the east and the other one is in the west so that to calculate the Longitude of Z is going to be 86.39 degrees minus 20.6 degrees since the angular difference between them is the difference between their respective longitude. The longitude of this and this added together to give us this. So to get one, if the other is not given, it is the angular difference minus. The given one so and that will give us a um, 66.8 degrees and to the nearest degrees we have it at 67 degrees west so that's the end of solution to problem one we then go to problem two for problem two two point a 32 degrees north comma 47 degrees west and b 32 degrees north, 25 degrees east are on the Earth's surface. It takes an aeroplane 11 hours to fly from A to B along the parallel of latitude. Calculate its speed, correct to the nearest kilometers per hour. Take the radius of the Earth to be 6,400 kilometers. So again, we are going to represent the information in a diagram. The Earth is believed to be spherical. This is the equator and um, we need to get their common latitude which is 32 degrees north. We have the uh, common latitude to be 32 degrees north. For A is 47 degrees west, that's the longitude. So we have the longitude of A to be 47 degrees west and A is at this point b is 25 degrees east so the longitude 25 degrees east is here and the point here is b so we are to calculate the speed of the aeroplane from a to b which means we are going to calculate the distance 
then divide by the time taken. To calculate the distance now, it is a long small circle so that the formula remains theta over 362 pi r cos alpha. Before then, we need to get our theta, which is the angular difference between their respective longitude. Since this is west and this is east, we're going to have it as 47 degrees plus 25 degrees, which gives 72 degrees. And our alpha is the latitude, the common latitude, which is 32 degrees. So distance AB now will be 47 over 360 times 2 times 22 over 7 times 6400 times cos 32 degrees. So in putting this in our calculator, we have the distance AB to be 6822.8 kilometers. So that the speed, the speed of the aeroplane from A to B after traveling 6,822.8 kilometers for 11 hours. So speed is distance divided by time. So we have the distance then divided by time, which gives 620.3 kilometers per hour. And to the nearest kilometer per hour, we are going to have it as 620 kilometers per hour. And that's all for the solution of problem two. And this is the highest we can take in this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Check the description section of this video to our YouTube channel to get the link to other videos on longitude and latitude. Until we come your way again, goodbye.